Daniel Kvyat has joined the Alpine Formula One team as official uh, reserve driver for the 2021 season. In this video, I'm going to tell you what I think. I think it is it, it, it I think it's a very good move from Alpine to um contract um Daniel Kvyat as their third uh driver uh because I think he's got over a hundred races in the Formula One paddock and um I think, especially in uh, 2021, it is um, very, very important to have a skilled to have a skilled um, reserve driver um, because I believe that uh, COVID-19 could strike at any point. And I think, therefore, it is important that any team would it would be well off if they could if they would employ a a um, seasoned Formula One experienced reserve drive reserve driver. I think. Um, it it's a good place for Daniel to um, to um, sort of continue his career because I think um, had he stepped away from Formula One, I think um, that that would his Formula One career would have been over. Um, but I truly believe that he can make a make a um, f Formula One um, full time comeback um, if Alonso retires. Um, I think I think um, it's a good move. Um, I'm just going to read you a quote of what he said. He said, I'm very excited to join the Alpine team family. The team has achieved some great results in the past year and is very techno, 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 technology, techno, technology advanced. Development has been strong. And I'm, and I am aiming to contribute to this positive trend. I will tr try to bring my experience on and off track to help develop the S521 and future cars as well. As a reserve driver, you need to keep in shape, and you need you need to keep sharp. And I'm and I look forward to integrating into the team in several different areas. Yeah, um, I think he's spot on there. Um, I think they've they've done they've done it perfectly. Good choice, um, and I think he could potentially um, slot into that uh, seat without any issues, um, without any issues uh, if anything was to happen for with Fernando Alonso or Esteban Ocon. Again, I'm not saying I'm wishing for it. But um, 
it is it is better um, to be prepared for the reasons that I, I previously mentioned. Um, you know, because um, I think it, it was a bit, a bit um, and so it was a bit um, unthoughtful that it was a bit overlooked that um, the, the, the uh, for the um, Racing Point team had to get in uh, Nick Eichenberg on three separate occasions last last year um, on a on a short notice basis um, because I think he could have that he could have done a lot more um, with the car had he been with the team at all the races. Um, and I think um, Mercedes uh, cocked up quite badly last year when when um, Esteban Gutierrez uh, didn't even have a super license uh, and, and yet he was still um, res reserve driver for Mercedes. Um, so I think Alpine has done a, has done a very good um, a choice in in uh, getting Kvyat on board because don't forget he already spent a year on the sidelines um, as sim simulator driver at um, Scuderia Ferrari as well. So I think he can help the Alpine team without a doubt. Um, and uh, I really hope that um, teams are um, looking at getting quality res reserve drivers in for the 2021 season, because uh, as I said, uh, they need to be race ready because uh, unfortunately, I think we're still going to have a um, COVID affected um, season. So anyway, this is just what I'm thinking. What are you? What, what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Cheers for watching. Um, I'm out of here. Bye, guys. <laughs>